Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Cali Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to delivery day. That's right, we're taking delivery of another new motorcycle today. And this one, for you old school cats, please stick with me on this. I'll explain everything. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Of course, smash that like button and ring that bell notification because we've got a lot of content coming along with this new breed of bike. Now, um, I've dropped some hints that I'm buying another new bike. It is a new style bike to the collection and I wanted to bring this bike to the collection for one major reason, to draw a different audience to our channel. Now, you guys that are, uh, old school cats, Ducati, Aprilia, uh, you guys, BMW, all, I, I love you, I love you, I'm not going anywhere, but uh, I wanted to take delivery of this bike because, first of all, I got a screaming deal on it, and um, I wanted to take the channel to another level and draw another audience. So without further ado, we are at Vacaville Harley-Davidson, and we are taking delivery of our brand new 2020 Road Glide Special. Uh, not really brand new, it's brand used. Uh, it is brand new, it's a 2020 model year. Um, someone bought it, dumped a whole bunch of money into it, and then uh, brought it back with a few thousand miles, and uh, I snagged this thing up for an amazing deal. So make sure you stay tuned because we've got some stuff already coming. I've got parts in the garage already. So um, 2020 Road Glide, it's a special, it's blackout edition. And uh, I really got this for one reason, but I'm not gonna let you guys in it right now. Uh, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for of course our first ride and I'll explain everything. But before we get out on the first ride, let's take a look around the bike. Let's go over all the specs on the bike and uh, get you guys to understand why I bought this bike. And then we'll get out on the open road and we'll give it our first ride. All right, so we're gonna go over all the specs and details about this absolutely gorgeous 2020 Road Glide Special. And uh, so real quick, let's just go over with the big numbers. The big numbers, the dry weight on this thing or actually what they call a delivery run-in weight is 853 massive pounds. It is by far the heaviest bike in the collection. Um, fuel capacity six gallons and the seat height on this is going to be uh, 25.9 inches. So fairly low, fairly low. Uh, we're running uh, on the front, we're running a 19 inch wheel with a 130-60 tire. And the rear wheel back there, we're running a Dunlop D407T at a 180. And this is going to be an 18 inch wheel. And uh, 114 cubic inches, of course, the massive, massive motor. Uh, let's see. The electronics on it, obviously fuel injection. Uh, ABS brakes come standard. We have the two into one back into two exhaust system, which best believe we already have a brand new exhaust for this thing. Now the uh, torque numbers on this thing are absolutely mad. 123 foot pounds of torque. Like just how, <laughs> I just can't even explain it. I can't even explain it. Um, what else do we got on this? Uh, gas mileage is pretty decent. That's one of the reasons why we bought this. We wanna be able to get out on the open road at 45 miles per gallon. So just massive, massive uh, gas mileage. Of course, we decided to go with the black on black. This thing is just absolutely stunning in black. Now, this does have the RD RS, I believe is the abbreviation, the rider aids, which is like the linked braking. And we'll get into a little bit more of the RDRS system a little bit later. Uh, the infotainment center is just beautiful on this thing. I can't, uh, I can't stress to you, this was another selling feature. Let's get this thing fired up. Uh, another selling feature, massive TFT display. And uh, let's get this turned down. Uh, nice stereo system. We've got some plans to put some speakers down in these compartments. So these compartments are add-ons. The uh, previous owner put these on. Uh, he also put some slight bar risers on. Uh, but in the back seat here, he's done a couple things. But all outside of that, the bike is pretty much stock. There's not much 
uh, been done to it. Uh, we are already going to be changing the exhaust. So I'm excited to be having this in our collection. Uh, again, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, our very first Harley Davidson, and um, I'm excited to have it in the collection. If you guys are OG people, uh, yeah, I know what you're gonna say, but uh, again, let me uh, get on the first ride here and explain to you guys why we bought this thing. But just the look of this thing is just, it's just gorgeous. It really, I mean, it doesn't matter if you sit back and you look at this thing, it doesn't matter who you are. This is an absolutely gorgeous bike. So let's get on it. Let's do our first ride and see how we like it out on the open road. All right, so here we are, the 2020 Road Glide Special. Um, nice little ride uh, down the highway, a little cruising ride. We're on uh, Pheasant Hill Road. Uh, unfortunately, this is the road where in Vacaville where the big fires were. Uh, so if you guys are familiar with the big fire back in August, the LNU fire, this is the um, side of the fire that came into Vacaville. So, but um, here's the Road Glide. And uh, I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you OG uh, viewers have some some questions I'm going to answer them so before you comment let me let me tell you what's going on um but the Road Glide, I couldn't pass up on this deal. Uh, I just got an amazing deal over at uh, Vacaville Harley Davidson. So if you guys are local to uh, Vacaville, check them out. They have a lot of inventory right now. So, um, but here it is. So uh, let's go ahead and just first get this thing kind of exercised up in a quick little view. Now you're going to see from a standard. If you guys are familiar with the Harley Davidsons, these are these bar risers are up a little bit. So these uh, generally, I think we're down about out here so these are up a little bit and I actually I really like them they give it a little bit more stability it's a little bit more comfortable ride when you kind of put these bar risers up but they're not of course the ape hangers that just make it so unpleasant to ride um, the a navigation system and infotainment center is just bonkers it's just the the stuff that it's got um, I haven't even been able to go through everything but I've got it on the navigation, but then we've got our analog cluster down here with some digital tripometers and um, odometers and stuff like that. You got your fuel gauge, your voltage gauge. Now, one of the things I'll have already complained about is Harley Davidson and BMW must have already talked because finding neutral in this thing has been a challenge. Um, and I don't know if it's standard with Harley Davidson's, but it seems like uh, it's it's kind of an issue so um controls real quick we'll go over we've got our stop 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 off um our priming get the bike started uh hazard lights blinkers what's nice about the blinkers is you turn the right blinker on uh it's kind of like the bmw hp2 you hit the blinker button again and it turns it off uh, over here we do have the rdrs i think i'm pronouncing that correctly i think i've got the abbreviation correct it's the the right the advanced harley rider aid um traction control is, a button is here we've got our horn high beams low beams uh, we've got some voice commands and then we've got our cruise control and then we've got our infotainment um, uh, little um, toggle down here and then of course we've got some switches down here um, and uh, yeah so let's get on the road enough talking now this bike uh, has just over 2,000 miles on it I think and uh, the person that owned it prior had already done some stuff like the bar risers and mounted the lower fairing bags which will probably get some type of uh, better stereo into the into the bike, but they also put the um, the shifter, the stomp stomp on shifter. I don't know the technical name for it, but it's basically um, you can hit the the heel of your uh, foot can stomp on the shifter to upshift, and then you stomp in the front to downshift. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like it's unnecessary. I forget that it's back there. So I just, I find myself just shifting standard. So, um, clutch, very nice hydraulic clutch. Brembo brakes in the front and rear, uh, and they are linked braking. So very, very nice braking. And, uh, I have to say, you know, for this bike, you know, you're riding such a different, such a different style. So we're redlined at 55 uh, 100 rpms the reason is, is because we're only working with 90 horsepower 
and 123 pound feet of torque. So you just basically are riding in torque all the time, you know, so that's the big, that's the big joy to the Harley Davidsons. So a little bit different than I'm standard used to. Uh, again, if you guys are new to the channel, go back and see the part of the collections because we have everything from uh, little two cylinder uh, 300s and we have uh, three cylinders, we have twins, we have, um, we have boxer motors. We have a Harley now. Uh, so welcome to the fam. So you OG guys, all right, all right, all right. So here's the deal. Me and Bogdan, we want to be able to do some riding, some cruising style riding. Um, you know, it's real hard to get on some of these sport bikes. And I know we have the Tiger 1200 XRT, which I absolutely love, but you know, you get on that thing to go up to Reno, it's not the most comfortable thing still. This thing is just butter. And although I'm out here on kind of the, the country back roads where it does all right, right? But this thing is, this thing is a freeway princess. This is where this thing shines, right? We're, if we're gonna be, if we're on these style roads, we're gonna be on the, on the Tiger 1200, right? But what fun is just riding on the freeway for our first ride so um, that didn't make any sense for me to bring you guys on a freeway ride and uh, this is a very nice ride back here and it's manageable and it's it's got some nice good sweepers so so Harley Davidson's come a long ways I've never owned a Harley Davidson this is my first time owning a Harley Davidson and um, I have had plenty of bad things to say about Harley Davidson and you know there's probably a lot of people out there that still have plenty of bad things to say about Harley Davidson and well let's face it there's probably a lot of bad things about Harley Davidson but on the flip side in the last couple years Harley Davidson has really made major major strides to get their bikes a little bit more reliable a lot more comfortable um, a lot more user friendly, uh, you know, with ABS and the RDRS and the, and the braking systems and, you know, the fly-by-wire systems and, you know, adding in massive Brembo brakes. All of this stuff is all stuff that Harley-Davidson needed to do and they finally done it. And so that was one of the major reasons why I decided I'm gonna go take a look at these. Plus also, I kinda of know somebody that knows somebody that uh, owns the Vacaville Harley dealer. And um, yeah, so one thing led to another and, and that's why we are where we are right now because we wanted to be able to bring uh, some Harley content to the channel. Um, I am very, very well versed in different style bikes, right? Um, I'm not just all about my Ducati Street Fighter. You Harley guys, you're gonna be like, oh my God, he's got a Ducati. But I also have such a variety of different bikes from a, from a 300 Street Fighter up to a, 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 a Boxer Racer, uh, a couple Ultra Rares, all kinds of different bikes. And now a Harley, it, it, you know? And like I said, it's, it's something that I wouldn't have first really expected to it's not something that I would have originally expected that I would be buying but I, I have to say that I'm I'm happy that I've made the decision uh, so far I, I can't really say I've got anything bad to say about this I've only ridden the bike once prior so it's uh it's just a it's a very very nice bike it's a very good bike and like i said you know i think harley davidson's made some major strides to get where they are and they're they're really trying i mean the live wire is coming out and i know there's a lot of bad things to say about the live wire but let's let's be honest there's no other manufacturer producing an electric bike right now uh that is uh, a uh, you know gas driven motorcycle company right Ducati doesn't have anything BMW Honda Aprilia uh, Japanese it doesn't matter Italian nothing 
So yeah, of course, you know, Harley's gonna have some issues with that live wire, but um, I'm excited to be able to get on one and I hope that, um, you know, having this and getting into this community, I'm hoping that uh, it will get us into a demo on the live wire. So uh, if anybody is out there with Harley Davidson, I would love to be able to get a hold of one for, uh, for some demo stuff. So of course, first things first, modifications to this, um, I, I do want, so first thing is I already have, <laughs> um, if you guys are new school Harley guys, Two Bros Racing is uh, now of course making it uh, exhaust systems and intake systems. If you guys are no, newer school Harley, you guys are like bitching, hell yeah. Uh, if you guys are old school, you're gonna be like, who's Two Bros? Um, and of course, if you guys are um, my sport bike riders, you guys are gonna be like, two bros? What the hell is Bill talking about? That's right, we have two bros on our R3. We have two bros, or we had two bros on our R9T Racer. Um, and the 2020 Harley Davidson is getting a two bros uh, slip on exhaust system. So um, two bros is, uh, I was talking to Mark, and there's something like 60, 5% um, market is like Harley's now and they're like they're the big up-and-coming name so if you guys want some up-and-coming names up-and-coming performance um, uh, uh, check out two bros we'll link them down all below but stay tuned because I already have the exhaust sitting in the garage so we're gonna be getting that on later this week Uh, a couple other modifications we want to do to it. Obviously, I, I want to get the stereo system up just a little bit louder. I don't want to necessarily make it annoying for everybody else around me, but I kind of do want to hear the stereo just a little bit more. So we've got some plans for modifications for the stereo system. One of the things I would like to look into, I'm not sure what's available, but I would like to have maybe just a tad larger windscreen. Um, this windscreen is pretty low and I would like to have it probably about six inches taller. So I'm gonna look into that. One of the only complaints of workmanship I have on the bike so far is this throttle. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of wiggly, it's, it's kind of janky. So uh, I'm not sure, I know Ducati has this, uh, this play uh, thing that you can put in there, but uh, I'm gonna look into that. I will say I'll give Harley the mirrors on this are, are fabulous. I absolutely love the mirrors, nice angle very little distortion but you can see everything behind you everything so very very nice uh, mirrors so um, all LEDs I believe we're running um, if I'm not mistaken I'm not sure about the tail lights or blinkers but we'll do a little we'll, uh, find a little walk around on this thing when we get up here but uh, I think I think it has um, all LEDs but the RDRS system is kind of a rider's aid for you, uh, for, for people like me that are come, come typically from um, um, our, our sport bikes, it's kind of like our rider aid, our traction control, our ABS control. Um, it's just basically, it's the rider aid for Harley. And uh, it's, I think it's one of the first years, I think maybe they introduced it in 19, but I may be wrong, but uh, I know that they, um, I know that they've got some, uh, um, I, uh, some advancements in it into the 2020, so. Very sad to come through here. I don't know if you guys remember, but we had some, uh, some old Ducati stuff and we were doing some uh, film shooting through here. It looks like they took all the rocks out of here finally, but. This fire just came through here. There's a couple homes you can see, but yeah. So, uh, so welcome 2020 Harley Road Guide Special. Um, what do we need to do this uh, for you, um, a, a new Harley guys? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. What are some of the things that we need to modify? Um, let me know some of the things I need to be aware of. Um, I'm a little, like I said, I'm not new to motorcycles, but I'm new to the brand and I'm new to the um, uh, to the style of bike. I do want to get over and uh, ride. Uh, I know I've been I've been eyeballing it. But I just, I don't know, I, I, 
I kind of liked, I don't know, I was looking at the B, uh, the BMW K1600B, uh, which is kind of this is direct competitor. I almost feel like I get more waves out of Harley guys when I'm on my sport bike than I do on my Harley. <laughs> that sounded weird when I'm on my Harley. Oh, guys, please don't unsubscribe. Um, but uh, for you OG guys, um, if you guys uh, have stuck around, I love it. Thank you guys for sticking around. Um, and I will I apologize right now, Snickers, Neil. I am sorry. I know. I know. But uh, let's make the best of this thing, right? <laughs> um, some great some some great new stuff coming on. Um, one of the other things uh, is the Tiger 1200. Just FYI. Um, is actually currently up for sale because we do have a order already placed for the 2021 Ducati Multistrada V4. So uh, that is um, on the uh, order form already. So the Tiger is actually um, already going to be leaving the collection soon. So that's uh, one of the other reasons why we went ahead and, and got this bike sooner than later. God, I got a shift. I can't go up to 20,000 RPMs. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a fun ride, guys. It's going to be a fun ride. So thanks for sticking around. Let's pull up here and uh, let's do one final quick walk around of the 2020 Road Glide special. Black on black on black. Blackity black black. We are blacked all the way out. And... Uh, I, it, there's no denying you can't say you can't say this thing doesn't look sharp you don't need to like Harleys that's fine that's fine I don't like well yeah I guess I gotta like it I gotta gotta like Harleys now but uh, in the past I've never really liked Harleys but I've always kind of dug this road glide so um, let's get stopped up here And uh, let's take a final look at this thing. Oh, let's get just a little bit in the dirt. Nothing major. <sighs> it's a hot one also, guys. Just FYI. So this kickstand just trips me out. I don't know. So uh, the 2020 Roguelite, what do you think? Uh, OG guys, what do you think? So in incandescent bulbs in the front, that's what I thought. I knew that there's something not LED, but the uh, rear lights, these are incandescent, but those are LEDs, two rows exhaust coming, but uh, gorgeous, I think. I mean, it's just, you can't, you can't look at this thing and not think it looks really rad, especially the front end, I love it. So thanks for sticking around. Make sure you give me a comment down below. Let's keep it all positive. Um, We've got some more stuff coming. We've got exhaust coming for this, so stay tuned. And uh, subscribe, like, comment, everything. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.